welcome everyone. I'm Matt. There's no Desiree this week again. She'll be back next week, I promise. We're Today we're going over just kind of like the remaining flash mob choreography that we didn't get to last week and kind of like a general review and running through it a whole bunch of times to use it. If you want to see previous videos of this, you can check it out. There's the full choreography from the couple that choreographed it available if you look up International Flash Mob 2017 on YouTube. You can also look up our video recast by checking out the Rising Tide Swing In Studio on YouTube that has all the videos that we ever do on Mondays there. You can also check on Facebook, facebook.com slash Boston Monday West Coast Swing, or Ballroom in Boston's Monday West Coast Swing if you type in the search bar. So those two places are great ways to check out all of our past video recaps, to review and go over past pieces of the Flash Mob choreography. It's really important to keep reviewing what we already know so that next week we can just jump right into run -throughs. That being said, so today we broke down the second half of B and C. I'm going to stick D on the video as well, just because it's not super hard, and then you guys can practice that by yourselves. So we started with B. I'll break down the leader's part first. We have our left hand in the air. We're connected right hand to our left follower's left hand. We're doing a wrap in. Three and four. The very important part here is that I'm stepping across the slot on four. I'm going to use my left hand to kind of duck my partner for five, six, seven, eight. I'm putting my or their left hand on my stomach. They're then going to walk around me for one, two, three, four. My arm comes straight up and over their head. Then we walk together for five, merging face each other for six, triple seven, and eight. From here, I'm doing a push break where I'm turning my partner around so that I'm compressing on their back. So I'm prepping slightly in for one, tossing the hand for two. Holding for three, there's a woo in the song, then I'm walking forward, 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 and tripling out around. From here, I'm doing kind of a reverse whip where I catch my partner's hip. One, two, three. From here, I walk. Four, five, six, seven, eight. That last part from seven into eight is this kind of boing moment where we kind of bounce off the connection and use it to get to the other side. From here, I'm doing a tuck in closed. One, Two, I tap three, step four, triple five and six, then a right side pass. One, two, three, and four. Open up for five, six, I step, pivot, cross in front. We talked about a lot about how for any routine there's a front and a back, but all the moves or most of the moves will face towards the front. So at this end, this right side pass, if you get a little bit lost with the orientation, especially when we're doing it on the actual day, then just remember where your front is. Your front leaders is where your right shoulder is facing at the start of the routine. It's also where your right shoulder is facing at the start of the right side pass. So no matter what happens kind of in the middle, just come back to face towards the front and you'll be in the right place for those solo steps. Now part D is just the solo steps. As a leader, I'm tapping behind with my left foot, tap behind with my right foot, tap behind with my left foot, and I spin to my left. Spin. I'm spinning past my partner, we tap behind, step, tap behind, step, tap behind, step, spin, pass. Now get ready for section A again, which starts with that push break. The follower's part. So I'm wrapping in as a follower. One, two, three, and four. I step and step. Five, six, seven, eight. I walk starting with my left foot first around my leader. One, two, three, four. We walk together. Five, six, seven, and eight. Leader's prepping me slightly in, tossing my hand. On the woo in the lyrics, I'm hitting with my arms up in the air. Three, I step forward, four, five, six, seven, and eight. My arms come down kind of by six. From here, my leader's bringing me in for a reverse whip to a hip catch. One, two, three. Again, arms up to hit the woo. I hold this for four, I shift five, six, on seven, I'm shifting kind of to face a little bit more towards my leader, seven, I replace and, and eight. So I'm coming back into close position from the top. Step forward one, forward two, knee up, then cross, and I turn around, and then we're just doing that right side pass. One, two, three, and four, five, six, step, pivot, cross, Front. Solo steps, it's the same thing as the leaders just starting with your right foot first followers instead of your left foot. So we started, hands up, roll in, two, three, and four, duck, two, three, four, 
followers walk, two, three, four, and together, six, and the push break. One, two, hold, four, five, six, reverse flip. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, down the top. Two, three, four, right side pass. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Covered today from there, you just do the solo steps as I showed them for the leaders, the followers just mirrored, and then you go back into section A. Thank you all for coming. Hope you had a blast.